Hello everyone, I'm Benjamin, Music Factory Composer, and today we're going to be taking this out of the box. This is the Novation Launch Key Mark II 25 key. Now, I will say one thing before we even open it. This is incredibly lightweight. I mean, wow. I, I could just hold it with one finger if I could balance it, but I can't. User manual. Oh, so this comes with Ableton Live Lite version 9. I'm probably never going to use this, but this actually this keyboard is designed to use with Ableton Live um, software. If anybody wants this, um, there's a link in the description to win a key for Ableton Live 9. That is weird. That is a green, a green cable. Wonder why that is. All right, let's, let's take it out of the bag. Oh, that's why it's green colored. Because the back of the keyboard, it matches sort of that color. Not exactly, but pretty close. It's pretty close to that color. Let's let's get a little bit more involved. Let's check this thing out. Whoa, you guys got to see that. That was cool. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, I like that. <clears throat> now, supposedly, and I don't know how to do this, but supposedly you can change the color of these drum pads. I don't know how to do that, but I know it's possible to do, probably with Ableton software. I don't know. Um, but let's just assume for the moment that I knew anything about that. So, yes, you could theoretically do that. So this is the keyboard. It's actually it's actually really nice, nice feel. I like these keys. They're not squishy like some of the Behringer's I've used have really squishy keyboards. Let's pull up our instrument. Let me take a listen to that. Let's, uh, see what that might sound like. And there we go. Yeah, just like that. Hopefully that's not too loud. Um, I'm gonna turn it down just a touch. But yeah, wow, that. So let's a uh, little bit of performance. Not much of a performance though. It feels like a really natural velocity curve. It doesn't feel like the curve is, you know, a weird angle or anything. It feels like I, I play soft and I get a really soft hit. I play hard and I get a hard, you know. But it also doesn't feel like I'm going to break it trying to play loud, you know. It's a loud key sound that you're getting. But it doesn't feel like I'm really crushing that key. It feels really intuitive, it, it, it works really well, and it, it, the buttery smoothness of this, you just have to feel it to really appreciate it. It doesn't feel sluggish in any way. It doesn't feel taxing on my fingers to have to turn it all the way around and figure, you know, like, because some of them, some of these that I've used, you have to turn it forever. I mean, you, you, you turn it and you still only got up to like 50 after one full rotation, but with this one, zero to 127 in, you know, three fourths of a turn. So I, I kind of prefer that over the turning forever system. So good job, Novation, on, on that one. Very, it's very innovative. It's, it's very, um, it's very innovative. 
I will see myself out now. So recapping here, um, this connection is really solid. I don't feel like that's going to come out or anything like that. All the knobs and faders and, and pads are really, really nice. These pads feel really nice. It's really simplistic. There's nothing complicated here. I don't have a complicated menu system or anything. It's just plug and play. Now again, this is designed for Ableton Live. It's not designed necessarily for every other software. But otherwise, I mean, everything about the keyboard is nice. It, it's solid, well built. It doesn't feel squishy. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's going to break underneath me by using it or by playing it hard. It, it, it feels good. So for only $150, this is a really good device. You're not spending a whole lot of money on something that you're going to regret having spent that much money on but at the same time you feel like it's worth more you feel like the value of this is such that the 150 dollars was actually a bargain because of the quality of the build the simplicity of the build the fluidity of these knobs and faders and, and everything this one maybe not as much but the rest of them are fantastic so if you want to pick one up there'll be a link down in the description so all you have to do is jump down in there and uh, get yourself one of these Novation LaunchKey 25s, hashtag not a sponsor. Uh, they're really actually quite nice, and I'm probably going to use this a lot. So yeah, I would I would definitely recommend this if anybody's interested in a, in a new MIDI keyboard that isn't going to break your bank. Anyway, I wanted to really thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, go down to the description to buy one of these. And also, click the link to get Ableton Live 9 for free. I'm Ben, Music Factory Composer. Click that eye to join our Facebook discussion. Click the big MF logo to subscribe to our channel. And of course, click this video right here to uh, see our latest music. Thanks for watching, everyone.